Todd Pyro, your reaction? At, at least when he was asked that question a few years ago, he had an answer, and his answer was, I am just so gosh darn important. I have many leather-bound books. I'm kind of a big deal that I need to fly solo <laughs> on these uh, special jets here because I can't fly with the common folks. This year, he had his flack, like, muscle out the reporter. It just underscores the hypocrisy. They are not getting the message, and it, it, it just it spits in the face of the rest of us because we are told if we don't do everything in our lives possible to control our carbon footprint, if we don't ruin our lives in the sake of climate change, then we get a moral lecture from these people who don't do anything in their own personal lives to do the same. Yeah. Well We've got new data from S&P. S&P 500 spent $65 million in 2022 flying their executives around the globe on private jets. This is basically the money spent for personal travel, according uh, to the Wall Street Journal analysis. One of the top spenders was Meta. Uh, CEO Mark Zuckerberg spending $6.5 million on personal travel, Cheryl. And Cheryl Sandberg as well, personal flights. I mean, that was a 55 percent jump over 2019. And remember, you know, that big pushback against corporations back after the financial crisis when it came to companies owning jets and because shareholders started to fight back uh, to say there's no reason you need to have a corporate jet on the books at the company. Again, the, but the, and the, the companies would say, well, wait a minute, you know, these executives to maximize their time, whether it's Jeff Bezos, he's been criticized as well, you know, to maximize their time because they've got to fly around the world for business. That's why we justify this travel. But now this is personal travel you're talking about. Whole nother scenario, especially meta, considering the fact that, again, uh, it is the shareholders that are, that are kind of footing the bill uh, for all of this. Uh, look, Mark but, Zuckerberg is building a bunker security. in Hawaii. He's building a bunker under yeah, his that, home in Hawaii. He can afford to pick up his own tickets. They're talking about security. They have to do this for security for their executives. I mean, look, for me, the takeaway is the hypocrisy of John Kerry, frankly. OK, yeah. he's telling everybody else about their carbon footprint, but won't address his own carbon footprint. That that really was the takeaway for me, because I understand having to spend money to secure uh, their executive team uh, for safety reasons. Yeah, and I, I agree with the overall assessment here, because, look, if you have the money and your company has the money and you're willing to get it through your HR reimbursement process, go for it. What I object to is then you rich people lecturing me that I can't fly yeah. on a plane because of my carbon footprint. I say live and let live. Everybody do what they're going to do. But the people at the top can't then turn around and say, you people in the middle at the bottom are bad for basically wanting to travel or having to go places and not wanting to go by horse mm. and buggy. But Maria, Maria, this is John Kerry's M.O. And this is why he was a failure as yeah, a presidential right. candidate because of his arrogance and his snobbiness. You know, go back to windsurfing mm. off the coast of Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> All right.